But first tonight, one mistake, a two-year-old lost. All we can think is that when the fire started, um, he got scared and ran to hide. How firefighters think the toddler started the fire that killed him. A boy rescued from a fluorescent fire has died. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. Mike Bush has the night off. Our Laura Barczewski explains what sparked that tragic fire. Laura? And the family tells me the fire likely started when the two-year-old Elijah put a set of car keys in the microwave when his parents were out of the room. This is what's left of the Martinez family home on Loki's Drive after a fire overwhelmed their house Wednesday morning. When they arrived, they found a house uh, that was on fire uh, with reports of a victim inside. Florissant Valley Fire Protection Chief Jason Hovelman says they had multiple crews working on the fire and searching for the missing child. They did find him in a bathroom vanity, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, it didn't slow down the search a whole lot because the house was small. Luckily, we had a lot of crews in there. Chief Hovelman says EMS crews rushed the little boy to the hospital, but he didn't make it. The family of seven lost their two-year-old son, Elijah, and family puppy, Sam. He was a little wild man. He loved to get into everything and as little boys do. And that morning, the family says Elijah put his dad's keys, phone and wallet in the microwave, sparking the fire. All we can think is that when the fire started, um, he got scared and ran to hide and he ran to the bathroom. Cousin Kara Paymaster says while they mourn the loss of their babies, they also lost everything else. I mean, they ran out of the house in their pajamas and uh, no shoes. Um, uh, my poor cousin, he's been walking around barefoot all day running errands because he wears a size 13 and nobody can find him shoes. Paymaster says she wants to remind other families of the important lesson not to put things in the microwave, even though Elijah may have been too young to fully understand. Hug your families and, and um, you know, community is important. Chief Hovelman says it's also a good idea to talk with your family about fire escape plans. It's still just a, a lesson to make sure we message with our kids to not hide. Uh, but that's a young age and it's a really hard thing to, to get through and to, to remember when they're scared and it's just a tragic event. Family members set up a GoFundMe to help them, but there are also some immediate needs like clothes and mattresses. We'll have a link and contact information on KSDK.com if you'd like to help. And